I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question from Functions 2017. Question number 13. Given the following graph, write down the following. So from this graph, you have to figure out what is the domain, what is the range, what is f of 2, f inverse of 1, domain of f inverse and f is is inverse function. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So here we have a piecewise function. Let's write down the domain of the function. The leftmost point is at minus 2. Since it is filled in circle, that minus 2 is included, right? So, so we will write here that that square bracket means included minus 2. As we move right, at 1 there is a jump discontinuity. How the function continues at 2 again there is a jump discontinuity and it further continues till infinity, right? So the domain is from minus 2 to infinity. Now let's look into the range. We see that the range is from 0 to let's say this value is 4 so the range is from including 0, right, to including 4, union, there's a break in between, and then from minus 2 to minus infinity. Minus 2 is not included since we have open circle here, correct? So it is from minus 2 to minus infinity. Now let's see what is the value of f of 2. f of 2 really means value this function, this function is f of x, value the function at 2. So at 2 the value of the function is 3, right? So, so that filled in thing is the value of the function which is 3. This is not filled in so it is not minus 2. Then we have f inverse of 1. That really means that for y value of 1, what is the x value? f inverse. So we have two x values which are plus and minus 1. So we could write this as plus and minus 1. Now we have to write domain of f inverse. Whenever you find domain and range of inverse function, it's kind of flipped. So range becomes the domain so without even thinking, we could copy this. So domain of f inverse is from 0 to 4 union minus 2 to minus infinity. Do you get the idea, right? So domain of inverse of a function is actually range of the function, right? So that is how we should write. Now is inverse of function. To figure out, we have to do horizontal line test, right? So do horizontal line test. As we saw just now, if I draw a horizontal line, we get more than two values, right? So it crosses at more than one value. So it is inverse is not a function. Right? Inverse is not a function. So that is how you can answer this question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you like the video. You feel free to share my videos and write comments. Thank you and all the best.